Hello everyone. In this video, which I recorded during lockdown for my Facebook page, I'm going to be painting this sunset picture. Now I'm using very affordable materials for this painting. De La Rowney Simply Watercolour Paints, some SAA cold pressed paper, and some very affordable brushes from De La Rowney as well. So I'm going to start with my lightest colours, which will be the yellows and the oranges. So I'm mixing plenty of those up into two separate large washes. And I'm going to create this first wash using a wet in wet technique. So grabbing a round brush, size 8, and putting down the cadmium yellow. Simple band of colour. And to the bottom of that, I'm adding in my orange mix that I created from cadmium red and cadmium yellow. I'm now taking a penny and using it as a stamp with some um, absorbent kitchen roll. And that lifts out the wet paint to create the silhouette of the sun and a few highlighted cloud marks. This is all whilst the paint is still wet so that the absorbent paper towel will lift that colour out. I'm now creating a large mix of cerulean blue and I'm going to use this to create the top part of the sky. So this will be my initial wash for the sky just to add some colour to the background. So I'm washing that down to the yellow that was previously laid down. So I've put a couple of layers of that cerulean blue on there and I've allowed it to dry. Next I'm creating a mix of ultramarine blue and cadmium red to create a deep purple colour. And I'm going to put several layers of this on for the clouds. The reason for adding additional layers on top of this would be to give the clouds some depth and some three dimensional qualities. You can see how that's dried, quite light. These are affordable paints, so they won't stay as strong when they're dried. So I'm mixing up another mix and adding that straight over the top. And because now obviously I have two layers of the same color, it's gonna appear stronger in certain places. Now I'm not painting over all of the first layer. I am allowing some of that original layer to show through. And again, that will give the clouds some shape and some form. So I'm going to continue with that colour to add more paint onto the top, working my way across the painting and now beginning to add in some smaller broken clouds, almost with a dry brush effect using the side of the brush. I'm now beginning to create another wash of that. Just constantly adjusting the painting as I go along using the side of that large round brush now as I get towards the horizon these clouds are going to break up even more uh, as you can see I've now created a band of cloud close to the sun just over the top Now I'm going to create a warm mix to drop into those clouds just above as if the sunlight is glowing through the clouds. And I often use this technique of painting over the top with lighter colour. Um, now traditionally watercolours are painted light to dark but now and again rules are made to be broken and I think this works very well. So I'm just refining these clouds now adding and taking away where necessary. It's lifted out there some of the colour directly above the sun. And now I'm putting in the foreground. So this is an initial warm wash glowing in the sunlight. You can see how I've 
strengthened that glow directly underneath where the sun is. That gives it a nice effect of the strongest light hitting the ground. I'm putting in some distant uh, landscape. I'm not being very detailed with that, just to give the impression. And now I'm coming in, very strong foreground colour. Because the paint is translucent, you can see how the initial yellow colour that I put down is showing through as well. Again, using the kitchen towel to lift off, give that reflected light feel. So I'm coming to the end of the painting now, I just need to start putting in some details. So I'm mixing up a foreground grass colour, just very light, allowing that to dry. And now I'm creating a very dark mix, ultramarine blue, cadmium red and a little bit of sap green. And using a very small number two brush, I'm putting in some detailed trees, just some silhouettes. just to give the impression of these trees and there's a few birds. And that's the finished painting. Thanks for watching.